Jinn are created beings. They do have powers. But certainly you can defeat them. But how you defeat them? I love what Ibn Aqil said. The power of the jinn in the fact that you do not see them. You're fighting an enemy that you do not see. This is why you need to bring in a power that is not seen too. And this is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. And I'll, I'll, I'll share with you a story, a very interesting story that will, will really get that meaning. القصة ذكرها ابن الجوزي قصة يحكيها يقصها علينا الحسن البصري رحمه الله. He said that in a town, by all the sudden, the people started worshiping a tree, thinking that tree has power, force. So actually they started going and prostrating and praying to that tree. But there was a righteous man living in this town. Of course, when you see the people are committing evil, the rule that you enjoy in good and forbid evil. I said the best way to do this without conf uh, uh, confronting and uh, and uh, them and so forth is I will go at night while they are asleep and take down the tree. First of all, to prove to them that look, the tree did not protect itself and uh, finish it up. So he's walking, he took the axe and he's walking to take down the tree. Guess who meets him? Shaitan. We're going to find out one of the powers of jinn that they can leave their jinni form and take on human forms. Sometimes snakes, dogs. So he asked him, where are you going? He said, listen, here is the situation. I have to go and take that, that, that tree because the people are worshiping it. He said, no, you're not. You're not going to do it. He said, I will do it. No question. They started arguing. They went into a fist fight. The man beaten the jinni, shaitan in this case, so bad, he beat the heck out of him. If this is something that you like to hear. That's how shaitan does it. If he's defeated, he doesn't give up. Then he uses what? The carrot now. So he came to him and said, listen, my brother, why do you do this? Those people are already astray. They already committed the shirk. And you're a righteous man. You deserve to worship Allah more. I have a good suggestion for you. Leave the tree alone. Leave the people alone. Go back to your sanctuary. And every day I will drop three golden coins inside your house so that you go and take care of your family so you don't have to work. The man, subhanAllah, Satan was able to convince him. So he decided to go back home. The first night, the three golden coins were dropped. The second night, the third night, didn't see any. So he said, you know what? I'm going to go and take down that tree again. So he took the axe and he went to take down the tree. Shaitan met him. Where are you going, my friend? I'm going to take down the tree. He said, no, you're not. He said, yes, I am. They got into an argument and they started fighting. Guess what? 
shaitan beaten the heck out of him for the man started reflecting upon it and said how come i beating you up the first time and you beating me up the second time he said i'll tell you the first time you were fighting for allah you were doing what you're doing for allah i can't come near you i can't defeat you but the second time you were fighting for the golden coins i can defeat you i can beat in you i can beat you up this is the message brothers and sisters in islam yes jinn do have force power but this power in the face of the power of allah zero and this is the nature of the test this is why we're here in this world so we align ourselves with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can defeat satan and his army satan and his followers and this is the nature of the test